Hello, my name is Kevin Ohlendorf, and I'm the president of the Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory. We are often asked about the different types of fixed expansion appliances that can be used to create better arch form, create space to uncrowd the teeth, and expand the upper arch. There are many different types of fixed expansion appliances to choose from, and they all have unique features. In this video, I'll go through the most common fixed expansion appliances that we fabricate and explain how the appliances work, their components, how to seat the appliances, how to activate them, and possible treatment times for each one of them. This video will provide you the information that you need to determine which appliance to use when you treatment plan your cases. Let's take a look at some of the upper fixed expansion appliances. This appliance is called the Rapid Palatal Expander, RPE, or sometimes referred to as the Hyrax. It is activated by having the patient or parent turn the screw to widen the appliance, thus expanding the arch. Normally we always ban the first molars. If the first bicuspids have erupted enough to band, we'll ban them as well. If the patient still has deciduous molars, then we don't ban them but place a rest over the occlusal surface. You can place some composite over the rest to help retain the appliance. Normally we use a 9 millimeter screw. Each activation is a quarter millimeter, so you get about 36 turns out of each appliance. This appliance can come apart if it's activated beyond that amount. To insert the appliance, be sure that you have good separation, especially if you have four bands. In younger patients, the first molars may not have erupted enough to band. In those cases, you may want to consider banding the second deciduous molars and adding an extension to the first molars. This will provide a more retentive appliance. To activate the appliance, take a blue handled key and insert it into the hole in the front of the appliance. Push the key distally until it stops and a hole appears at the front of the screw for the next activation. The appliance can be activated a couple different ways depending on how you use the appliance. The first way to activate the appliance is for slow expansion. Have patients 18 years and younger turn it one turn twice a week. For patients older than 18, you may want to have them turn it one turn once a week. The slower turning schedule for older patients is needed because the bone is more dense. It will provide better arch development. The RPE can also be used for rapid arch expansion that splits the palatal suture. Some doctors feel that rapid expansion is more stable. If your patient has an airway issue or a class 3 tendency, rapid expansion can help. Splitting the suture will help open the airway. It can also move a point forward which will help with some class 3 cases. If you want rapid expansion to split the suture, the screw can be activated one turn once a day for 35 days. Once the expansion is complete, you'll need to retain the expansion. You can use the appliance or change to a lingual holding appliance such as a 3D multi-action appliance. If you're going to use the RPE as a retainer, you may want to place acrylic over the screw to lock it in place like this picture shows. The acrylic will prevent the screw from backing up. The RPE can be bulky, so some doctors prefer to place this Wilson 3D multi-action expander as their long-term retainer after the expansion is complete. It fits closer to the palate and can be adjusted to rotate molars or gain additional expansion if needed. With it in place, you can begin using straight wire right away after the expansion is completed. Regardless of which appliance you use, retention after expansion is very important. For slow expansion, it will take about four months to expand the arch. You'll want to retain the expansion for four to six months. The older the patient, the longer you'll need to retain them. For rapid expansion, you'll need to retain the patient for at least six months to allow the bone to fill in the split in the suture. The Rapid Palatal Expander is one of the most common fixed expansion appliances. It can be used for many things. You can also add finger springs or reverse face mask hooks to it to allow you to accomplish more than just expansion. This appliance is the Nitanium Palatal Expander. 
It's designed to rotate the molars and provide slow expansion of the upper arch. The appliance is pre-activated when you insert it so it does not require any compliance on the patient's part at all. The titanium expander can be used in the mixed or permanent dentition. Some adults have a difficult time tolerating the appliance because it sits low across the palate and can bother the tongue. Younger patients are able to adapt to it much better. This appliance is attached to bands on the first molars. We always place buckle tubes on these bands so you can easily transition to straight wire after the expansion is completed. On the lingual of the band are horizontal sheaths. The titanium expander fits into these sheaths. The appliance itself has stainless steel arms and wire that attach to a nickel titanium wire. The transpalatal wire is thermal nickel titanium so it is so when it's sprayed with ice spray it becomes very flexible like a piece of spaghetti. As the wire warms up it will return to its original shape and this creates the force to rotate the molars and expand the arch. There are two different ways to seat the appliance. You can take it out of the molar bands and seat the molar bands then slide the appliance into the sheaths. The most popular way is to seat the bands as one unit. When you're ready to cement it, load up the bands with cement and then spray the appliance to cool it down and make it flexible. Don't touch the wire or it will start the activation process. Then seat the bands in the appliance. You can freeze this wire multiple times to test the working time that you have. Some doctors also take Q-tips and wet them and then freeze them. Your assistants can place the frozen Q-tip end on the wire as it's inserted to help delay the activation process. Good separation of the molars will make it easier and faster to seat the appliance. When we fabricate this appliance for you, it's pre-activated. As you can see, the appliance is oversized. There's about 6 millimeters of activation built into this appliance. You'll also gain some arch length as the molars rotate as well. There are no adjustments that need to be made during treatment. Once it's cemented, you can see that the arms do not contact the premolars. As the molars rotate, they will bring the arms up against the premolars and then start the expansion. It will take about one to two weeks to rotate the molars. It normally takes about three to four months for the appliance to fully activate and expand the arch. The appliance will expand to the predetermined amount and then become passive. Once the expansion is completed, you'll need to retain the expansion for at least six months. You can leave the appliance in place as a retainer and begin straight wire treatment. When you're ready to remove it, simply cut the elastics holding it in place and slide the appliance out of the sheaths on the molar bands. You will not have to remove the bands to remove the appliance. The titanium palatal expander is one of the best appliances to rotate molars and provide slow expansion. Unfortunately, there's not a lower version available at this time. One of its best features is that you do not have to worry about any compliance at all. It's self-activating and provides repeatable, consistent results. A variation of the RPE is the Haas Expander. This appliance functions the same as the RPE, but we add acrylic around the screw that con contacts the palatal mucosa. The added acrylic serves a couple of purposes. First, some doctors feel that the added acrylic improves bodily movement of the palate and reduces tipping because the forces are on the teeth and the palate. Secondly, the added acrylic can aid in the splitting of the palatal suture. The more constricted the palate is, the more doctors use this design over the standard RPE. One disadvantage of this appliance is hygiene. The acrylic on the tissue can irritate it and it's difficult to keep it clean. Most doctors use a rapid turning schedule with this appliance to limit the hygiene issues. You may want not want to leave this appliance in place as the long-term retainer. A good alternative is the 3D Wilson Multi-Action Expander that we discussed in the RPE video. This is much easier for the patient to tolerate and it will allow the tissue to heal as you are holding the arch expansion. The Haas Expander is a variation of the RPE and is used for more severely constricted arches to improve the bodily expansion of the arch and reduce the tipping of the teeth. Another variation of the RPE is the bonded RPE. 
it uses direct bonded occlusal pads for retention instead of bands. The cement goes on the acrylic and then the entire appliance is seated. The cement bonds the acrylic to the teeth making a very strong bond over a large surface area. There are many different variations of this appliance. Instructors that teach how to use this appliance have specific designs that they prefer and we're very familiar with these design options. The bonded RPE functions the same way as the standard RPE that we already discussed. The only difference is the occlusal pads. These pads can be helpful when you're correcting a crossbite. The pads are also very helpful to control the vertical. They prevent the teeth from being able to tip so as the arch is expanded the teeth move bodily. There are a couple of different disadvantages to using this appliance. First is removing it. Removing the appliance can be difficult and sometimes the acrylic may have to be cut in order to get the appliance off. This makes cleaning up more difficult and time consuming. If the patient has loose deciduous teeth they can sometimes be extracted when you remove the appliance. Another disadvantage is the hygiene. Anytime you bond acrylic to the teeth the tissue can get very irritated. A water pick can be used to clean around the appliance but this may not even be enough. It will take a little time for the tissue to heal once the appliance is removed. The bonded RPE is a very effective appliance that can be used for many things. It's most effective in very constricted arches with posterior crossbites or vertical considerations. This is the Wilson 3D multi-action appliance. The appliance is all stainless steel so it requires you to bend it in order to activate it. This appliance can be used for many things but we're mainly going to discuss how to use it as an expansion appliance. The multi-action expander can expand bilaterally, unilaterally, or only in the anterior region or posterior region. You can selectively bend the appliance where you want the activation to occur. This appliance consists of bands on the first molars. These bands have vertical slots on the lingual that the appliance fits into. These slots allow you to remove the appliance to make adjustments that you need without having to take off the bands. Just take a scaler between the two posts and work the appliance out of the slots. Once your adjustments are made, insert the appliance back into the slots and it is activated. Most doctors will seat this appliance as one unit when it is first inserted. We will return the appliance to you in a passive state, so once it's cemented, simply remove the appliance from the lingual tubes, activate it, and insert it back into the lingual tubes. You can activate the appliance about three to four millimeters at each appointment. See the patient about every three to four weeks to reactivate the appliance until the expansion is completed. It normally takes about three to five months to complete the expansion. If you want to expand the entire arch, you can activate the diamond. If you only want to expand in the anterior region, you can activate the sweep arms. Only where you want the expansion to occur. Once the expansion is completed, you can use this appliance as its own retainer. We place buckle tubes on the appliance so you can begin using straight wire at any point during treatment. You'll want to leave the appliance in place for at least four to six months after the expansion to maintain the development that you've achieved. The Wilson 3D Multi-Action Expander has many valuable uses beyond what we discussed in this video. If you'd like more information about this appliance or how to activate it, we have a very good video about this appliance on our YouTube channel and our website. After completing an arch width analysis, you may find that the patient's upper arch is too narrow in the anterior region and the molar region is the correct width. The arch will have a V-shape or Gothic arch form. In these case, cases, you'll want to expand in the anterior region only to correct the discrepancy and round out the arch. The fixed fan expander is designed to do this. The appliance consists of bands on the first molars. If the bicuspids have erupted enough to band, we will place bands on them as well. If there are still deciduous molars, then we will place occlusal rests over them. You can place composite over the rests to help hold them in place. If there are four bands, good separation will be very important to make sure that you can seat the appliance correctly. 
The fan expander is a slow expansion appliance. You'll want to have the patient turn the screw one turn twice a week. This is an 8mm screw, so you can activate it about 30 times. As you can see, only the anterior portion of the appliance expands and the posterior segment remains the same width. It will take about three to four months to fully activate the appliance. Once the expansion is completed, you'll need to retain the expansion for four to six months. You can use the fan expander as the retainer or switch to the 3D multi-action expander and begin straight wire treatment. The fixed fan expander is designed to expand the anterior portion of the arch to create better arch form and uncrowd the anterior region. The last variation of the RPE that I'm going to discuss is the super screw appliance. This appliance has a unique screw to expand the arch called a super screw. The screw can be substituted with any of the, any of the other designs that we've discussed for the RPE. This screw can provide up to 12 millimeters of expansion and some people find it easier to activate than the standard screw. To activate the appliance, you use a hex, hex wrench to turn the screw. Each turn is a twelfth of a millimeter. There is a scale milled into the screw so you can see how much it has been activated. For rapid expansion, the appliance needs to be activated three turns per day for 30 days. For slow expansion, the screw is activated three turns twice a week for 16 weeks. Once the expansion is completed, there is a locking mechanism to lock the screw in place so it does not back up. You can use this appliance to retain the expansion or switch to, to the 3D multi-action expander like we discussed before. We have a number of doctors that use the super screw design and really like it. It's another alternative for fixed expansion. Another appliance that provides you the opportunity to expand the entire arch or just in the anterior or posterior region is the quad helix. This appliance is made of stainless steel wire so you have to activate the appliance in order for it to work. By making the appliance wider and then inserting it, it will expand the arch. The appliance has bands on the first molars. It can be soldered to these bands or placed into 3D Wilson vertical slots like this one. This version is much easier to seat. We will return it to you passive so you can seat the entire appliance all together. Once it is cemented you can remove it from the bands to activate it without having to remove the bands themselves. The soldered version is more difficult to seat. You'll need to pre-activate it before you insert it. Once it's activated you'll need to constrict it and then tie it together with dental floss. This will allow you to seat it much easier. Once it's cemented, you can cut the dental floss to allow the activation to begin. All of the activation can be done when you seat it, so you don't have to remove the quad helix to activate it. If you're using the 3D Wilson version, you activate this appliance the same way that you activate the multi-action expander. It is activated about 3 to 4 millimeters every 4 weeks. Simply remove the appliance from the vertical slots on the molar bands, activate it, and then insert it. If you want to expand the entire arch, widen the whole appliance. If you only want to expand the anterior region, activate the sweep arms where you want the expansion to occur. It will take about three to five months to expand the arch. Once the expansion is completed, you'll need to retain the expansion for four to six months. The quad helix can be used as the retainer once the expansion is completed. The quad helix is another way to expand the upper arch and to deliver the expansion where you need it the most. Thank you for watching this video on fixed expansion appliances. I hope that you have found the information helpful. If you'd like us to fabricate one of these appliances for you, we'll need you to send us a set of upper and lower working models poured in yellow orthostone. We can provide the molar bands you need for the appliance or you can pre-fit your own bands and send them in with the case. If you send your own bands, you do not need to pour them up in the working model. Send them along with the model in a plastic bag and we will fit them on the model in the ideal position and then make the appliances. We have found that we can provide a better fitting appliance for you 
if you don't pour the bands in the working model. Be sure to check out our other videos on expansion appliances and removable expanders. They can be found on our YouTube channel and on our website. I hope that you will consider having us fabricate your appliances in the future. As always, if you have any questions about our laboratory or anything that you saw in this video, please contact me directly and I'll be happy to help you out any way possible. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope you have a better understanding of the many pros and cons associated with these fixed expansion appliances.